last beer I have to review of the uh, Leave No Stone Unturned Variety Pack. This is Fear Movie Lions Double IPA by Stone. It says an unfiltered double IPA. So you guys can see the, the labels flip. That's how all of them work. So I got a uh, beer advocate pulled up here. So it says Fear Movie Lions by Stone Brewing. Uh, beer advocate actually gave it a 91 for outstanding. The style of this beer is an IPA, New England. ABV 8.5% from Stone Brewing out of California, United States, and the availability is rotating slash seasonal. Um, so this one did come with three other beers. Um, it was the Stone IPA, the Cosmic Room Stone IPA, and the Delicious IPA, and then this one. Um, all three of them were pretty good. I think my favorite was definitely the Cosmic Room Stone one. Uh, but let's try this one. Let's uh, crack this open. I got my Lindemann's glass here. Let's go for the pour and go for the color week, guys. Color of the beer, definitely hazy. Still can see through it a little bit. It's got like a, uh, it's not white, it's more like a khaki colored head. Hazy, orange, amber color. Definitely see some uh, sediment flowing around in there. It does say it is unfiltered. Um, looks pretty good. Looks like it's gonna leave a nice lacing on the glass as well. Let's go put the nose on this one, guys. Up front, I'm getting a, a nice, uh, a nice sweet aroma. So the caramel malt, good amount of breadiness. Good amount of citrus as well, getting like lemon, orange, some grapefruit. Getting a good amount of tropical on the aroma as well, so I'm getting like Get some mango. Nice piney hop aroma. It smells pretty good, it smells pretty balanced. Um, for 8.5%, 8.5%, can't tell it's 8.5%. Uh, it smells pretty good, like I said. Really good amount of uh, citrus. So like a fruity tropical aroma. Good amount of sweetness. Let's go for the taste on this one. On the palate, you're getting a good amount of sweetness as well. Definitely lots of caramel malt, bready. On the palate, I'm getting a good amount of those uh, tropical notes as well. I'm getting like pineapple, mango. guava definitely lots of citrus as well so like i said in the aroma lemon orange grapefruit on the finish for a double ipa it actually doesn't finish too bitter it does finish a little dry and you're left with that floral hop resin finish um but it's actually really good in my opinion it's actually pretty drinkable and uh for that 8.5 percent you can't even tell that it's 8.5 percent the tropical and fruity taste of the beer and the sweetness from that caramel malt do a good job covering up that ABV. Mouth feels about medium. Carbonation is about medium as well. <clears throat> Definitely not too carbonated, but it does have some good amount of carbonation. Cyclops scale, it's not overly sweet, but it does have a good amount of sweetness. So I'd say like two and a half out of five sugar cubes at about three and a half out of five hop cones. So like I said, it does finish a little dry. You do get that nice hop bitter finish, um, but it's just not a, like a punch in the face with hops. Like you would expect with a double IPA. But this is a New England IPA, more of a like creamy, silky smooth uh, mouth feel. More fruity tropical flavor over those hops. 
Um, I think it's pretty good. Is it amazing? Um, I think I like it, but I, I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's definitely enjoyable, definitely drinkable for the 8.5% ABV. It could be a little dangerous. Price was $22 for that variety pack. And like I said before in my other video, I think it's worth it to try the four beers, especially that Cosmic Runestone. If you don't see that in six packs, I think that Cosmic Runestone is definitely worth trying out. I really enjoyed it. This is good as well. The Stone IPA is always great. The only one that I wasn't extremely impressed with was the Delicious IPA. It was still good. It just wasn't something to rant and rave about. It's not something I would go and look for. Um, this is a good beer. So for rating, I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. I think it, it's worth that. Um, I, did, I do see some single cans of this. For around, I think they're around like $3 for like a 19.2 ounce can. So if you want to try it, you could probably pick one of those up. Six packs probably going to cost you around whatever the Stone IPA six pack is going to cost you. Maybe a little bit higher. So probably like around $11, $12. Um, for what you're getting, it's actually a, a really good beer. Just like I said, nothing to rant and rave about. Um, it is a New England IPA, so it's not going to be as hoppy and as floral as most double IPAs. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to recommend the whole variety pack. Um, I'm going to recommend you guys try a single of this if you can find it. Um, and uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything that you guys like to see on my channel, mainly uh, IPA or uh, mainly another stone beer, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos. I like your beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.